The day was July 12, 2024. I hopped on Elden Ring, created my character, Jacobius Darius, and then I begin my adventure. There's only one rule. As long as I only have my club, no armor, completely naked, and be a wrench. So, can you become Elden Lord even if you're a wrench with no clothes? Well, I literally dodged that. Oh my god. Oh my god. As I spawned in Elden Ring, the first thing I did was to engage into a conversation with this NPC. Unfortunately for you, however, you are maidenless. Well, the actual first thing I did was to get to this church. But then, there was this huge looking gold uh, chasing me. I couldn't be the NPC, let alone a gold boss. Eventually, I killed some NPCs, talked to Melena, and get my horse. Because of my confident demeanor, I went straight to the boss with just a club and no clothes. Then, of course, I died. I needed to get a stronger and beat this goof myself. So I got myself a shield, killed some mini bosses. Uh, hot. He wanted me to spank him. I was hesitant, but I wanted some of it. So. And then he gave me his meat. flesh. So I took it and head off. While I was heading east, I was then confronted by his brother who tried obviously killing me when I was crossing the bridge of course. I had no choice but to do what to do. I was hitting this tank but I was doing a tickle contest basically. It was taking down like half of my HP after one hit while it took me multiple hits to even damage him. I had to rely on my agility to beat this tank a aka the pot's brother. I would gain the upper hand and defeat him. Now that I can travel to this side of the map, I would get stronger, I leveled up, and get some stuff that would help me on my journey. And after grinding and grinding, I went to face the first boss again. Also, it took me 30 minutes to beat the first boss. So, like and subscribe? The first thing he did was do a jump attack on me. Of course I would dodge that. Predictable move, and spank him for 4 times. But I easily learned it and dodges it. Okay, maybe I didn't dodge that. But he got his first hit when I was off guard. But with the power of the caveman and for my monkeys, I swore to defeat him. He then came rushing at me, which I could easily adapt and dodge. And then after that, I hit him with my crusty dusty club, which he responded with a f huge hammer right to the floor, creating a small earthquake. As the battle carries on, I would slowly overcome and tickle him to death, and eventually kill this big boy. Okay, that might be hard, but what about the second boss? Obviously, I would get stronger and stronger, and would do this rune farm for a long period of time. I would travel, I would hunt down mini bosses <laughs> for an item I obviously can't use for this challenge. It was kinda hard for me to decide where to go since I can't use any other armor or any weapon at all. When I was exploring this cave, I didn't know I was stealing somebody's loot. I didn't know he threatened to kill me which I of course replied in self defense. I kept on bashing his head multiple times but to no avail, this guy was strong. I put in more force this time than he finally gave up. After the bloodlusted fight we had, we then sat down to talk about life. Eventually, he then offered me for my runes, which I gently bought in return. I just carried on with my farm, doing this again and again until I was satisfied to level up. Then, I would buy some crafting recipes, then return to fight the boss. After me, I just found out that my stupid recording stopped mid-fight, so don't say, Hey, you didn't show us the part where you killed the boss? Well. Once I was in the battlefield, I then screamed to give myself uh, motivation. He then tried swinging at me, but he was too slow to hit me. Whoa, 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 whoa. I tried running away when he was signaling an attack, but I couldn't dodge it in time. As the fight carries on, I got him stunned, but this happened. My f 
finish it in work. What the? And of course, the battle carries on again. And then finally, I got him to die. This boss was a pain in the. Anyways, once I killed them, I unlocked this new path. I explored some places, killed some NPCs, and then I saw this sleeping dragon with something behind it. I wanted to get it, but I had to make sure I was quiet and not wake him up. Huh? And of course, I wasn't quiet enough, so I ran to get the key, and I tried calling my horse, but he was even too scared to come out. I tried again, and finally he came out. Ah, I just did that all for just a stupid key. And the rest of my... Oh. In the rest of my hours, I would just collect some golden runes to buy or level up and also explore the map further. Explore this huge castle. And once I was exploring more, I did see this weird looking cave which I would enter and I don't know what I would get myself in. I would spend some of my time exploring parts of this cave until I would encounter their boss, Crystal Leon. It was mostly an easy boss, mostly him spamming his spinning move, but I would eventually beat him easily. It then rewarded me for a bell bearing which I used that and upgraded my club. I then used the key that I got from the dragon to open this gate and made my way to Radogon's dog. Yes, a dog. Which I obviously died many times. But, after many attempts, I would eventually kill the dog. Oh, no. oh wait, he's a wolf. After that, I would come face to face with Renala. Now, she was really really easy and expected better, but as I thought it was over, she then transformed to a Harry Potter type of sh**. And then the first thing she did was do a Kamehameha at me, which I retaliated for a hit and then she flew away for a bit when I was gonna hit her again. That can't stop me. As I was attacking her, she didn't spawn a big dragon at me which I avoided most of the time. And of course, she was spamming her stupid clones but she was one shot, I gotta do this. That was easy. Now the journey continues here. I would transform the remembrance to runes because I don't wanna remember any bosses. That probably like makes me bash my keyboard. Well, either way, I would use those runes to level up. Then I would make my way to Grand Life of Dectus. As I would explore this side of the map, I figured out that it was time for me to upgrade my club. So I made my way into this tunnel and then get the bell bearing. As I upgraded my precious club, I went back to traveling. Just as I was traveling, I see something familiar in it. As I got closer, the unexpected happened. It was Morgan, the boss I despised my whole life. Well, I got smarter and just ran away. Now, I would face the tree sentinel that was guarding the gate here. I needed to get there somehow, but I also needed to kill this tree sentinel if it was only my choice. I figured out that I need to work smarter somehow, so I tested some stuff and come to conclusion. The sleeping pot. I need to put him to sleep, then stun him and hit him once so he get <sighs> I don't even know how to explain it at this point so just watch <laughs> see pretty smart right okay now the rest of the clip here is just me collecting runes and items but of course, I would sometimes die in the most unusual way. Yeah, like that. Anyways, I would continuously explore this place and eventually come face to face with their lord which I easily killed. I was making my way to this branch. I was touching this grace here. Then there was this assassin behind me who tried killing me but failed miserably. Judging by this gate here, I knew I was gonna have to face a boss again. Hopefully it's not a hard one. To my surprise, it was Morgoth again! I don't get how he was brought back to life, but now I have to face him a stronger, faster and more durable version of him. This doesn't look good for me. I 
had to think of a plan. Instead of going aggressive, I have to be careful and hit at the right time. Oh man, he's so low. Come on. Finally, I got him to finally die after 40 minutes. Now I have to hope he doesn't come back again. Now, this is where things get harder from now. But I believe I am getting closer to the end as well. But I had to also see the next boss I'm gonna fight for this biome right here. And it doesn't turn out really good. Let's be honest, there is no way that I'm gonna beat this giant with a club. And one move takes away all my no, HP, <laughs> leaving a quarter. But anyways, I did grind off camera and I didn't expect for me to do this good ton of damage, honestly. And I had a good but slim chances of beating this guy. Yeah, you basically know what I did to get stronger, right? But beating the fire giant was kinda easy for me in the third try. To be quite honest with you guys, I didn't wanna edit this boss fight because it was a boring fight compared to the other boss fights. But I also want to try my best editing this video to make you guys have fun watching this video and making you entertained. Now this is where I face my two nightmares and it took me a total of two days to get past this and this worst nightmare led me to almost quitting the challenge. Of course! Luckily for me, I found a good strategy to beat the god skin duo but I had to fight Maliket with just one club even after that. I always die and die and die. I started to question myself, why am I doing this? Why am I wasting my time on a boss that kills me every time, no matter how hard I try? I was clearly not skilled enough. And then after my final death, I had enough. I walked into my room, my eyes exhausted and I was clearly overthinking it, accepting the fact it is impossible for me to beat Maniket with a simple club. I went outside to grieve my own defeat. I said to myself, I f And then I went back to bed, giving up completely. Can you become Elden Lord, even if you are rich with no clothes? There's only one move. As long as I only have my club, but with the power of the caveman and for my monkeys, I swore to defeat him. No, I can't. I had to kill Maliket and become Elden Lord once and for all. I walked back to my PC and hopped on Elden Ring. And then, I was bound to take this down. he was, he was one shot. It has been an awesome journey, but I am one step in becoming Elden Lord. That includes me beating the crap out of the first Elden Lord. And now, I can finally face my final enemy. And there it was. I had to go through one more fight before all this ends.
tell a story of how a tarnished became Elden Lord. A fracture 